Hello everybody, it's great to see you again. Hello to all you acorns and all sorts and mummies and daddies and grannies and granddads and anybody else who's chosen to watch today. Oh, I wonder what you've been up to. It's Friday, so it's the weekend. So if you've been at work or at school, you'll be ready for a rest, won't you? Well, Benjamin and I are very excited because we love the weekend. Because my big girl Evie and my big boy Theo and um, their daddy, they're all at home. And we get to spend time with them, don't we? So that's really lovely. <laughs> now, I wonder if you know what day it is. Two weeks today. Do you know? Benjamin knows. He's very excited. Did you know that in two weeks' time it will be Christmas Day? Can you believe that? <gasps> Won't it be wonderful? I wonder if you've been having any time at school where you've been dressing up in nativity costumes. That would be lovely. What do you like to dress up as, Benjamin? Oh, well, he said he, he likes to go in the stable with the other animals. But he also quite likes to be a king and carry. Which sort of thing do you like to carry if you're a king, Benjamin? Well, he says he likes the gold. <laughs> oh, if I dress up, I like to be an angel with beautiful wings and a halo. Wouldn't it be lovely to fly? <laughs> oh, did you see Jenny's lovely picture at the start? It was a particularly lovely one today. Those ponies, a beautiful snow white pony and a little brown foal. Weren't they gorgeous? I like to ride a horse, although I'm not very good, Benjamin, am I? <laughs> anyway, anyway, enough of all that. It must be time to open our door. And I wonder what's going to be behind it today. Very exciting, isn't it, Benjamin? Shall we have a look? Here's our advent door. And look, the number changed again, hasn't it? Do you know what it is, Benjamin? Well, he says he does because he's quite good at maths. He's good at numbers. But he says I've got to ask you. So, oh, do you know what number it is on the door? It's got a number one and a number one, hasn't it? So what does that make? That's right, it's number 11. Because it's the 11th of December, isn't it? And that means we're 11 parts along our journey, along the little road to Bethlehem, following the star to find the baby Jesus and the Holy Family, aren't we? We've met some lovely people along the way. I wonder who we might meet today. Shall we have a look? <gasps> look at that! Oh, Benjamin! I'm so excited. It's the very thing I like to dress up. Do you know what it is, boys and girls? Have a look. Well, look. She's got... Well, this one's got a, got a nice white dress, hasn't it? And some blonde hair, but these are the giveaway. Look at these at the back. I think... They remind me a bit of a butterfly or a bird, I think. And what about this beautiful gold around her head? I think that's what is it, Benjamin? Oh, he says he thinks it's a halo because she's very holy, isn't she, Benjamin? <laughs> I don't think angels always look like this. I've met an angel, but she didn't look like that. She looked like any old person in the street. But she was very special, wasn't she? She was bringing me a message from God. And that's what they are. Angels are messengers from God. Just like in the, in the Christmas story, they come and they tell 
an angel tells Mary she's going to have a baby. And then she tells Joseph that they're going to have a baby. And then they tell the shepherds that a baby's been born. So what wonderful messages they tell. I wonder if we're going to have an angel in our story today. Shall we see? On December 11th, Benjamin opened the next door and uncovered an angel. The little bear awoke the next night from a strange dream. He saw an angel walking on the path ahead of him. Look at Benjamin. Where are you going? asked the little bear. To Bethlehem, answered the angel. It was then that the little bear noticed the angel had only one wing. How hard it must be for the angel, thought the little bear. With one wing, she certainly cannot fly. Suddenly, he heard a soft voice behind him. I too have only one wing and want to go to Bethlehem to see the child that will be born. I have heard that this child will heal all. <gasps> Astounded, the little bear turned towards the voice. You too, he cried in surprise. At that very moment, the two angels linked arms and cried happily, How wonderful we have found one another! Now we can fly to Bethlehem together! Oh, I wonder how those angels lost their wings, said Benjamin. Hmm. I don't know, said Mother Bear, but it's nice to know that God gives us friends and loved ones to help us on our journey. Oh, there they are, look. Such beautiful angels. And how sad that each one only had one wing. But how wonderful that they found each other and they were perfect together, weren't they? Look at Benjamin. He looks very amazed, doesn't he? Oh, wasn't that a lovely story? How beautiful to think of angels. And how lovely to think of friends and loved ones too. I wonder if you ever think you've met an angel. I wonder if sometimes your friends seem like angels. They can, can't they? They can come along just when we need them the most and help us in a way that only they can, in a way that we just need, just, just as we are. They can bring us what we need. 
Yes. That's kind of what it's like to be an angel, isn't it? Hmm. Well, I hope you enjoyed the wonder of that story. A little bit of a taste of what's to come over Christmas, because I'm sure we'll be hearing about more angels. And tomorrow, that angel, she'll be on our tree, won't she? With these others, like the star and the eagle and the man who couldn't see and the giant and the little ant and Saint Nicholas and the man who didn't have anything and needed us to share with him. Oh, and the rose, I missed it, that grew in the snow. The well that Benjamin drank his fill from. And the delicious juicy pear that tasted like honey. And tomorrow, we'll have an angel with them. As we discover what's there on the next day on our road to Bethlehem, following the stars. Come back and see us, won't you? Can't wait to find out. Bye. Across the